Kevin Feige, last night at Comic-Con, announced Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe post, you know, that thing right there. Um, so this consists of, well, I was going to say 10. It's basically 9 different things, because what if doesn't count. Um, and 1, 2, 3, 4 of them are Disney Plus shows, but if you count what if, then 5 of them are and then five movies. Uh, so that comprises phase four. Now, right now my base wonder is if after these shows they're gonna do any more or if that's it. If they're just doing five MCU shows and then that's it, no more Disney Plus. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go over what's in each phase, um, my thoughts on all of it, and then just some different background stuff at the end. Um, so, uh, in, on May 1st of 2020, I do have the diagram up there. On May 1st, 2020, we have Black Widow. And then in fall 2020, we have The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is the Disney Plus show. And the logo has a Captain America shield on it. So we are now 100% sure that this is going to be the story of Sam Wilson stepping up to fill the shoes of Captain America post-Endgame. And then November 6, 2020, it says we have The Eternals, uh, which I know nothing about, so I'm pumped for that. And then February 12, 2021, we have Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. Um, so right there, two things that I know nothing about, so I'm really excited that both those movies are back-to-back. -back. It'll really, it'll be nice for me, because I won't go in knowing about the characters. It'll be completely new, so I'm, I'm excited for that. And then we have... Spring 2021, the Disney Plus show WandaVision, um, which I'll give my thoughts on in a bit. And then May 7th, 2021, we have Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, these two things are probably going to be the movies I talk about the most in the, like, thoughts portion in a bit. Um, Doctor Strange is the movie I'm most excited for on this. Uh, and then we take a little break. Not, that's a lie, we don't take a break. Uh, we go May, yeah, so May 7th, 2021 is Doctor Strange, and then spring of 2021, they have not confirmed the date yet, is Loki on Disney+, Plus, and they changed the logo from that original, like, pitch that Kevin Feige did. Looks, looks better now. And then, uh, summer 2021, there's a lot of stuff 2021, by the way. We have What If. Um, now, I don't, my, from my knowledge, What If is not canon. Um, so... I don't know why they're including this in the lineup and why they didn't just show it as an extra thing. They're like, yeah, we also have what if, what if coming out at this time, but I don't know. And then in fall of 2021, we have Hawkeye for Disney+, Plus, which I am beyond excited for because, as you guys probably all know, Hawkeye was my favorite character in Avengers Endgame. And then November 5th of 2021, we have Thor, Love, and Thunder, the fourth Thor movie changing things up, and oh boy, we're going to be talking about Thor. Um, but anyway, what's funny is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these things come out in 2021, and three of them come out in 2020, which means phase four blows by in just two years. Right now, the shortest MCU phase was four years. Um, no, three years from 2013 to 2015. Uh, so 2022 to 2021 is really short for footsteps that's really short so again only two years and now before we get into any more thoughts there are two more things they confirmed that they did not put on the slate but they just confirmed them as a side project um kevin feige did name drop mutants which was great because he hasn't been able to say that until now and he also did confirm a fantastic four movie is being developed right now as we speak um, I'll probably talk about that in a different video, not in this video. And then, also, at the end, he did the little one more thing slot and brought out Mahershala Ali uh, to announce a Blade movie for the MCU. Now, we have, we have to talk about something here. Mahershala Ali played Cottonmouth in Luke Cage. So, if he is now playing Blade... Does that mean that Luke Cage is not canon anymore? 
And if Luke Cage isn't canon, none of the Netflix shows can be. Because they're all tied together. Even the Punisher is tied to the rest of them. Um, so, right now, I am assuming that none of the Netflix shows are canonical anymore. And the only canon shows we have, I'm guessing, are going to be Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the What If shows. Um, because if Kevin Feige is retconning the Netflix shows, then Cloak and Dagger, Runaways, Inhumans, those are all going to go. So probably Agent Carter, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the What If shows are the only remaining TV shows that are canon. So that's gnarly. Anyway, so let's get into my thoughts on these. So first up, we have Black Widow. And um, Taskmaster is supposed to be the villain, which is cool. I hope he lives and then becomes a greater threat down the line. And I'm hoping this movie is not like a huge game changer, but it just drops these tiny hints. Where if you pay attention enough throughout the movie, in like five years when they're getting closer to their game changers, um, Black Widow will come back into play and it'll become really massive. So this movie will probably just drop hints for what's to come. And then fall 2020, we have the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, Zemo's coming back, and he's rumored to have his classic Zemo look, which is awesome. Uh, be, it, this, this, if this show is not like a straight-up comedy, I'm going to be disappointed, because there's so much potential between Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. But anyway, as I said earlier, this is going to be about Falcon stepping into the shoes of Captain America. Zemo's the threat, so I guess Hydra's back, which is cool, because I like Hydra. And this is the TV show I'm most excited for. When they announced Falcon Winter Soldier, I immediately got pumped, and nothing else has taken away that hype. That is still the one I'm most excited for on here. The TV show I'm most excited for. Movie I'm most excited for, we'll get to. And then November 2020, we have The Eternals. I know zero about The Eternals, so I can't really speak on that. But I'm guessing The Eternals will be really important to the MCU down the line. And then February 12, 2021, we have Shang-Chi, uh, Legend of the Ten Rings. Um, Mandarin, I guess. The Mandarin, the real Mandarin, is probably coming in in this. Not Trevor Slattery, not Aldrich Killian. In the one shot, right, if you guys watched it, definitely do. All Hail the King. You can find it on YouTube, probably, or one of those video sites somewhere. Um... They, Sam, Sam, uh, not Rockwell, what's his name? I can't remember it, but he holds a gun to Trevor. He has a Ten Rings logo on, and he says that the manor is still alive, and he's going to take Trevor to him. And so that's revealed that neither of those two people that we saw in Iron Man 3 were actually the manor. And so Shay chi is probably going to give us the real manor, and I am excited for that but outside that i really know nothing about the character so i'm really excited to go from eternals to shang chi so i just get two entirely new things back to back and then spring 2021 we take like a one month break and then wandavision comes out but i'm looking forward to see what they do with this especially i want to see more vision uh because i feel like he did not have his full potential and so i'm really hoping they can explore that in this show Although, why didn't they just call Scarlet Witch in the Vision? Are they ever going to call her by her superhero name? Because that's all I want. Come on. Um, but anyway, so WandaVision is supposed to get her where she needs to be for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Yes, they confirmed that Scarlet Witch is going to be in that movie. I'm guessing she's going to be the main female lead. And I'm guessing this is going to be what brings the mutants into the MCU. Um... But, and Scott Derrickson, who's the director, said this is going to stay PG-13, but it's going to be the first true scary or horror MCU movie, which I'm pumped for, because I'm always looking for a good horror superhero movie. We really haven't got any. Venom, I'm pretty sure, was supposed to be horror, but then Fox was like, you don't get to do that. New Mutants looks like it's supposed to be horror, but I mean, let's be real, is that movie ever going to release? Um, so, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, really looking forward to that. Maybe we'll see Dormammu come back. Maybe something will happen with Scarlet Witch that'll make her like the villain and Doctor Strange has to fight her. There's so much they can do with this. And the Time Stone's gone. So, I just remember that. The Time Stone is gone. Um, so then Spring 2021, we have the Loki Show, which 
Um, I believe Feige hinted is going to be with that Loki in Endgame who teleported away with the Tesseract. Uh, so still villain Loki hasn't become, like, really a brother with Thor yet. Uh, so a lot of potential we could do there. And I can't remember, like, he's supposed to explore different times or something. Um, I, I can't remember. I don't, I, we don't know enough about the Disney Plus shows yet to draw any conclusions. They did change the logo, though. Look at that logo. Look how much better it is. Still not as good as it could be, but it's better. Uh, and then in summer 2021, we have What If, which it's not supposed to be canned. It's supposed to be animated. And, um, you know, What If. And, like, the first episode they said is What If Peggy Carter gets a Super Soldier Serum and Captain Mary is helping her out. And then in fall of 2021, we have the Hawkeye series, which, like I said, is... Him, they're going to explore some of his days as Ronin, which is good because we didn't get enough of that in Endgame. And they're going to talk about him training Kate Bishop. So Kate Bishop's going to be in the MCU down the line, which is cool. And then November 5th, 2021, here we go. Thor, Thor, Love, and Thunder. Um, so Jane Foster's back in this. So Natalie Portman is going to play Jane Foster again. It's going to be her as Thor. Now, Chris Hemsworth is in the movie. Tessa Thompson's in the movie. Um, like, I'm wondering if this is going to have two Thors in it or if Thor's going to die and then Jane Foster takes up the mantle. I don't know. But I think it's really cool that we're going to see Thor and Jane Foster in the MCU, probably for, like, two movies. Um, written and directed by Taika Waititi, so that's really cool. And, um, yeah, really, it's all I can say on that. I'll make another video on the Fantastic Four, another video on Blade, and, um, man, this is quite the sleep. Anyway, last thing. Um, so people were like, where's Guardians 3? Where's Captain Marvel 2? Where's Black Panther 2? Where's the third Spider-Man movie? Well, I will answer that question to the best of my ability here. So, this takes place in two years, from 2020 to 2021. Now... If you remember how Marvel likes to do things, they usually try to do a sequel every two years. There have only been two, well, three exceptions to this. Uh, Iron Man 2 came out two years after the first Iron Man. Far From Home came out two years after Homecoming. And Endgame came out one year after Infinity War. But for all the others, like Iron Man 3 came out three years after 2. All the Captain America movies were three years apart, except Winter Soldier was two. And all the Thor movies were three years apart. Were they? No, the first one was two years apart. But... They usually like to go two to three year increments. And so we got Far From Home as an epilogue to the Infinity Saga, and that came out in 2019. So realistically, there wouldn't be a Spider-Man movie in this slate. We'd wait until like 2022 for another Spider-Man movie. Uh, Captain Marvel 2 came out, what, that was this year too. So we'd wait until like 2022 for that. Black Panther 2 could be 2021. It really could be. But they might push that back 2022 and make 2022 the year of sequels. Spider-Man 3, Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2. Guardians 3, James Gunn can't be doing yet because he has to film Suicide Squad for DC. And then he's coming back to film Guardians 2. So realistically, that movie won't be out until 2023. And as for Avengers, well, why would they put another Avengers movie already? Give them some time to breathe. They just, they just finished with Thanos. Give them some time to mourn. Give the audience some time to mourn. And then, at the end of Phase 5, give us another Avengers movie. So, that is why there are, like, no sequels to existing franchises in here except for Doctor Strange. Which makes sense, because it's been 40 years since a Doctor Strange movie. Anyway, guys, that is Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What are your thoughts on this phase? Are you excited? I'm excited. Not as excited as I was for Phase 3, but I'm really excited to see what they do with Eternals, Shang-Chi, the multiverse, how all the Disney Plus shows tie in, and how they end it with Thor, what they're going to do with that. Um, really, excited to, really excited to go into this phase. Nothing until May, so it's a really long wait. And yeah, so that's going to be it. Leave your thoughts on the Phase 4 lineup in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the M2HQ. I'm going to try to pump out Phase 4 content regularly within the next couple of days. And that's going to be it. Have a great day, guys.